Right. So is sex important to us? Yeah, of course. But that's not the only thing we're thinking about. Is looks important? Yes, it's important. But is that the only thing we're thinking about, especially when we're thinking about linking ourselves financially with somebody permanent? Well, you know, marriage is supposed to be forever, but you know. Yeah, I like, okay, Brandon's on topic. I would tell women to focus on character first. Mm -hmm. Character, because character could give, a character won't, uh, when they come home, put their hands on you. Right. A character won't steal money out your wallet. <laughs> You're right. Char a character won't uh, be go to a prostitute, have sex unprotected, come at you, have <laughs> sex with you, you unprotected. Right. You, you know, at least a character said, at least go wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. You know? So well, I'm gonna step least... out. I'm gonna step out. Right. We're not. We don't <laughs> condone that, but it is a difference. I see what you're going. Where you going? Yeah. Character. Then after your character, because to me, character. I like character, man. Yeah. After and... that, then ladies, you could go on your looks. Right. You could go on it, but they want this woman. She wants somebody heal, and she want an ex sex offender. A, a reformed person. See, but you said a convict. Yeah, right. But do you think that's possible? Can you be hustling, selling drugs, go to jail, and come out and be reformed? Yes. Okay. Yes, of course. What, what percent? What I'm if, not saying what if I'm fifty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm not saying it can't happen, but it, what is the percent of that? Something like that happening? Because you know, I mean, one in fifty thousand, Brandon. <laughs> this, this, you, here's your three options. One in a zillion, Judge Maffitz. If you ain't Judge Maffitz. <laughs> You gonna have to do a construction company, mm -hmm. or you gonna have to drive trucks. Correct. Those are only two options. Correct, correct. And you know, I drove trucks for a while, and a lot of those guys were ex cons because a lot of ex cons they can get a CDL and start driving. And and it's like I say, it's nothing wrong with that. Just because you go to jail doesn't mean you're a criminal forever. You're a you're a felon forever. You can't change your life. You can't be a good person. But you know, it just I guess becoming what she's looking for. Her po her pool gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> And Timothy said, um, if he's two baby daddies, not paying any child support, then what's a good man with no kids signing up for that for? You know, well, that's, I, that's, you're right. If I got with her, I first thing we do, let's go down to this court office. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to these wages. All right. Right. Get right. Something. right. And I think people got to remember that. Like if you if you marrying into something with somebody like you're a part of this family, like the, the baby daddies is going to be a part of your life now. You know, <clears throat> even though they're going to be older, they're still a part of this lady's life because she those kids are forever they may need something they may have to call her phone you might be laying in bed and she got to talk to her baby daddy brandon imagine a convict guys this is an adult channel so be careful while watch your ears i'm just going to talk about adult <laughs> events imagine a convict coming home for five years as you mm -hmm. said two to five years mm -hmm. and her daughter is 16. you're right perky breasts right smooth skin innocent yeah gullible happens all the time happens all the time and here's a fact women can't protect their churches i hate to say like man can i hate to say mm. a woman is a man can protect their child from a woman better than a woman can take protect their child from a man and i think when a woman is dating a man her guard is down a lot of the times because she's in love with this person or infatuated or liking or lusting after the person. So she's going to be blinded by the man and the man sometimes can see that he's like, shoot, I'm gonna do whatever I want to do. And you have a, you have money over here. I'm, I'm going to drive your car or I might be trying to hit on your daughter or look at her a certain way just because she's in the house with me. Cause you know, you don't move me in. Not saying this is what's going to happen, <laughs> but I'm just saying <laughs> it do, that does, that does happen. He's, and Timothy said, I'm going to keep it um, a buck. If she's got two different baby daddies, then <laughs> we're not giving a pass a Monica Lewinsky. We're not now, Monica. Let's, let's keep it a buck, Mr. Taylor. This is not a fat woman or, or a wonderful woman. <laughs> you got to put right. some D inside her. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, let's keep it a buck. She ain't fat. She ain't no. ugly. <laughs> but And that's the thing. Like we, We'll do that, but she wants to have a partner. And I she think does. sometimes sometimes people forget, like, that's a rare thing, finding somebody that's perfect for you. And when you add all these stipulations, it just, I don't know, it just makes it really hard. But go ahead. You all right, Brandon, we're about to continue. Saying? Go ahead. Hold on. Are you one of the men that have been out of jail? Uh, men that's been out of jail, that means that, you know, they, they look at life differently. They are willing to grind harder. Sorry. They become a family man. Um, They grind harder, and they just look at life differently, and they're willing to turn their lives around. So it's just a whole outlook on life than a man who hasn't been in jail. I've never heard of in my whole entire life. So you've never heard of somebody wanting a reform to a nigga? I mean, maybe 
maybe I've heard that. I think it goes both ways. I know that there are, I know that jail has made some, this is true, jail has made some people, some men better people, you know? But then sometimes jail can do the opposite and then that person never reforms because of the experience that they went through in jail. So it could go, it's a, it, it could go either way. Right, I, but, I agree. But why not a man that just never went to jail but has his head on straight? Uh, I, I've, I've dealt with both. So I, that's just, that's just what I'm looking for. So the uh, man that went to jail, you like him better than the man that never went to jail? <laughs> Mm. Yeah, their 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 mentality is different to me, honestly. Okay, why did it work out between you and the former jail guy? Um, distance. I went into the military, and so um, it was a whole distance thing, and we just lost contact. So okay, so she's 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 dated the man who had never been to jail. And the I, man that went to jail. I'm not saying that jail is a requirement. I'm not saying that's that like. a former hood man. And I, that's that's number two on this. A requirement. Yeah. That's what you left with. <laughs> Hey, do y'all know that all I do is repeat what y'all said? <laughs> it doesn't have to be a requirement, though. Honestly. I guess you don't like to hear it out loud when I say it. It's the same thing. No, no the terminology. It just, uh, I'll say it performs a bigger. All right. Um, well, what are your deal breakers besides having two parents who didn't live in the hood and you came from the suburbs and you don't know anything about it? What are your other deal breakers? Um, I say unhealed trauma. Um, if they know daddy, mommy issues, baby mama drama. All right, Brandon. Now, tell me this. If I'm a hood ninja, mm-hmm. <laughs> do you think I could be dealing with some trouble or not? You're going to be dealing with some trouble. Even if you're reformed, you know, whatever you do in your past, sometimes it's going to haunt you, haunt you in your present and your future. Unless you sell them dime bags. <laughs> they ain't $4 a pop. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you might be all right then, but. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And if you like the content, do not be afraid to hit that like button and the subscribe button. And don't forget to share it out. Man, we got videos dropping every single week and we surely appreciate your time. And we can't wait to hear a fact from you. Leave a comment, leave a like. And guys, make sure you have a good day. God bless you. Take it easy.